Bushido, the way of the warrior. The samurai of Japan followed a unique set of rules called Bushido, often translating to the way of the warrior. This wasn't just a set of rules, but a lifestyle, emphasizing traits like honor, courage, and loyalty. Picture a samurai, not just as a warrior, but as a person of deep moral conviction. The Bushido Code developed during Japan's feudal era, a time when being sharp with a katana meant as much as being sharp-witted. Texts like The Book of Five Rings were to samurai, what motivational podcasts are to us today. Guides on mastering both the sword and the self. Bushido taught that real strength isn't just about physical prowess, but also about integrity and compassion. Today, it continues to influence not just martial arts, but the broader philosophy of discipline and respect in daily life. The warrior spirit in Muay Thai. In Muay Thai, the teachings and philosophy extend beyond the physical to embrace elements of Thai culture and spirituality. This combat sport emphasizes balance and precision, reflecting principles from Buddhist teachings. Fighters learn the importance of executing moves with grace and stability, representing a broader quest for balance in life. Rituals such as the Wai Kru Ram Muay dance and traditional attire like the Mongol and Prajid are not merely ceremonial. They connect the sport to Thai spiritual beliefs and respect for heritage. Muay Thai thus teaches discipline, respect, and spiritual harmony, making it a profound expression of Thailand's cultural identity. Jeet Kune Do's philosophy of adaptation. Jeet Kune Do, pioneered by Bruce Lee, breaks from traditional martial arts rigidity, embracing adaptability and practicality. Lee championed the concept of interception, anticipating and countering opponents swiftly with minimal effort. This martial art is not just about combat. It's a life philosophy emphasizing efficiency and adaptability. Like water, practitioners must flow, adapt, and overcome, making Jeet Kune Do a dynamic blend of direct action and philosophical depth in both fighting and daily life challenges. Zen Buddhism in Karate Karate, deeply influenced by Zen Buddhism, emphasizes the integration of body, mind, and spirit. This martial art combines basic techniques, Kihan, forms, kata, and sparring, kumite, to cultivate physical agility alongside mental stillness, embodying Zen's principles of balance and mindfulness. Karate's philosophical roots in Bushido highlight virtues like integrity, courage, and compassion, guiding practitioners in both combat and daily life. This holistic approach not only enhances physical skill, but also fosters a harmonious, enlightened mindset making karate a path to self-mastery and inner peace. The Path of Enlightenment in Kalari Payatu. Kalari Payatu, an ancient Indian martial art, transcends physical training, focusing on the path of enlightenment. This holistic practice emphasizes mental discipline, breath control, and meditative techniques to forge a deep connection between body, mind, and spirit. Practitioners strive for self-mastery and inner harmony in the sacred training space, or Kalari, blending physical prowess with spiritual growth, making Kalari Payatu a powerful journey towards self-discovery and universal connectivity. Taoism and Tai Chi. Tai Chi is more than just slow motion movements in the park. It's a dance of balance inspired by Taoist philosophy. The core of Tai Chi lies in the dynamic duo of yin and yang, opposite forces that complement each other perfectly, like peanut butter and jelly, but for your chi. Imagine yin as a soft, gentle whisper and yang as a bold shout across the mountains. Together, they create a harmony that's as natural as the sunrise. In practice, Tai Chi is this beautiful blend of calm and energy, teaching us that true strength flows from peace and balance. It's not just about bending your body, it's about aligning your spirit with the rhythms of nature, finding tranquility in movement, and maybe, just maybe, tapping into the secret of a longer, more peaceful life. Aikido's philosophy of peace. Aikido offers a unique approach to conflict, emphasizing harmony and the seamless redirection of an opponent's energy. Created in the early 20th century by Morihei Ueshiba, this martial art combines physical techniques with a profound philosophical underpinning. Practitioners learn to engage confrontations without aggression, using an adversary's momentum against them while maintaining inner calm. The focus extends beyond mere physicality, incorporating breathing techniques and posture to cultivate balance and control. Central to Aikido is the concept of Ki, a life force that connects all beings, enhancing self-awareness and fostering peaceful interactions. Through Aikido, one can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, promoting not just self-defense, 
but a path to inner peace and meaningful connections. Judo's maxim of mutual welfare and benefit. Judo, founded by Kano Jigoro, centers on the principle of mutual welfare and benefit, reflecting a philosophy of interdependence and growth. This principle, essential in Judo, also applies to parenting, where relationships between parents and children are mutually enriching. Judo teaches efficiency and cooperation, offering a valuable framework for nurturing and learning within the family, making the parental journey a reciprocal and enriching experience grounded in mutual respect and development. Silat Spiritual Unity Silat is a traditional martial art from the Malay archipelago that emphasizes fluid movements and a deep integration of physical, mental, and spiritual disciplines. It combines strikes, grappling, and weaponry, grounded in cultural rituals that enhance the spiritual journey and connect practitioners to their heritage. Key principles include the unity of mind, body, and spirit, strategic thinking, and continuous improvement, facilitated by both traditional and modern training methods. These principles ensure that Silat remains not only a method of self-defense, but also a path to personal growth and spiritual awareness. The Way of Harmony in Hapkido Hapkido, a Korean martial art, is structured around the principle of harmony, alongside its other foundational concepts of water and circle. Harmony and Hapkido involve synchronizing these principles to create a fluid and effective defense technique that uses an opponent's energy against them. It emphasizes the need for mental clarity, allowing practitioners to respond instinctively and seamlessly in confrontations. By mastering harmony, practitioners not only refine their physical skills, but also achieve a higher state of mental peace and self-awareness, embodying Hapkido as a way of life. This principle guides them in all aspects, from combat to everyday interactions, promoting a balanced and mindful approach to challenges. Capoeira's Philosophy of Freedom Capoeira, born from the resilience of African slaves in Brazil, is a martial art that masks profound resistance within its dance-like movements. It symbolizes freedom, using rhythmic music and fluid combat to express and explore communal strength and spiritual growth. This art form celebrates resistance against oppression, fostering community and identity among practitioners worldwide. Capoeira transcends physical discipline, embodying a philosophy of liberation and empowerment that resonates globally. The Tenets of Taekwondo Taekwondo embodies five core tenets that influence practitioners' behavior, both inside and outside the training area. Courtesy emphasizes respect and good manners consistently. Integrity requires standing up for ethical values and maintaining honesty. Perseverance is the drive to push forward against all challenges, embodying commitment through all aspects of life. Self-control involves managing both thoughts and emotions, maintaining composure in tough situations. Indomitable spirit demands the courage to remain firm in one's convictions, showing relentless effort no matter the obstacles. These principles shape practitioners into disciplined and morally grounded individuals. The Inner Strength of Kyudo Kyudo, the Japanese art of archery, emphasizes cultivating a strong spirit and emotional stability, transcending mere physical technique. It teaches practitioners to achieve mushin, a state of no mind, where pure consciousness emerges from quieting the rational mind. This discipline challenges one to connect deeply with their true nature, encouraging self-discovery and introspection. Kyudo's philosophy ultimately aims to unify the archer with the bow and target, offering profound insights into one's existence. Way of Non-Contention in Bagua Chang Bagua Zhang, a Chinese martial art, embodies the Taoist philosophy of non-contention by emphasizing harmony and adaptability. Practitioners learn to redirect opposing forces with fluid, circular movements, avoiding direct conflict and utilizing an opponent's energy against them. This approach teaches not just physical techniques, but also promotes a mindset of calm, flexibility, and resilience, mirroring the Taoist ideal of flowing like water, constantly adapting, yet persistently advancing. The Mental Discipline of Kung Fu Kung Fu emphasizes mental discipline alongside physical training, fostering qualities like patience, perseverance, and awareness. Practitioners achieve calmness and clarity through meditation and deep breathing, enhancing control over emotions and reactions. This mental fortitude allows for precise technique execution and strategic decision-making. Kung Fu also promotes mindfulness and the integration of mind and body, enhancing overall well-being and personal development, making it a profound journey beyond mere martial capabilities. If you enjoyed this video, 
then you'll enjoy our Deadliest Martial Art Weapons video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.